book and a food all you never wanted to know. A little echoey in here. As you can see, we have the chicken brooder set up again because we're getting our meat checks in tomorrow. Could be very early in the morning. Now, it's a little dark in here, but if you ever are getting baby chicks, baby turkeys, baby poultry of any kind, be sure to disinfect everything, every single thing, and let it dry really well. We disinfect with bleach. That's This is basically the only time we use bleach <laughs> in our home, around our home. We do it outside where you don't have to breathe it. Um, so my husband last week disinfected the floor. It looks dirty, but it's not dirty. He actually vacuumed it, shot back it, and cleaned it up really well and disinfected it. And this is what we use for a brooder. It's a cattle drinker. I don't know. What do you call these, dear? <laughs> a trough. Some sort of trough that we bought cheap in an auction. We really lucked out. And what we put as the bedding underneath, if you can see. See? Some people put wood chips. Occasionally we'll use wood chips. This is peat moss. The reason for that is if they eat the peat moss, they won't die at a really early young bird stage. That's not a bad idea. Now, the paper towel, never put anything slippery. Do not put newspaper. It will ruin their hip joints, they'll become lame, and that's not too good. So get a nice quality paper towel, lay it out for the first couple days, maybe two, maybe three, and tomorrow, and I'll show you what we do with this, this is the feeder. It's a very tiny chick feeder that we found. And we hang it, and we hang it very, very low, just up off the ground. There's a heat lamp, and it is adjustable by pulling it. We have a system set up. We keep it about 18 or 19 inches from the floor for the first day. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. These are these wonderful little chick feeders we found. Most, I mean, I'm sorry, waters. Most waters have a large, a large hole around the edge, a large trough, which isn't too good with the baby, baby chicks. So these waters, as you can see, they have a very narrow spot for them to put their beaks into. It's especially good for baby turkeys who sometimes will get wet. It prevents them from jumping in and getting wet. And not only that, but you need to disinfect some wood to use as platforms. And tomorrow when we get the chicks, we'll show you a little bit more. So remember heat, feeder, water, bedding, and paper towel just for the first couple days. That's to prevent them from learning to eat the bedding instead of the feet. <laughs> and I'll talk a little bit more in the morning about what we put in the feeder and what we put in the water. So right now, this is food all you never wanted to know. Take care.